Okay, hello, hello, hello. Am I on? Do I have audio? Do I have gameplay? Yes. We are ready. Today we are going to check out some Game Boy games. I apologise if it said that I was actually playing Jade Cocoon again. We are not playing Jade Cocoon. I do not have the energy to focus on an RPG. But what I am going to do today is play through some Game Boy games that I was told that I missed out in my top games list that I made recently on YouTube. So hopefully we're going to check out some really cool games that should have been included on my top list. And it's extremely hot in here. That's why I haven't got my normal lighting on to try and keep it a bit cooler. And I also have a nice, cold, refreshing cider to help me through the evening as well. So hopefully all goes well. Hopefully everyone in the chat is doing well. Cold Fuse is here. Hello. Good to see you here. And let's check out some Game Boy games with the controls on the wrong buttons, but never mind. I'm actually using the analog pocket today because I feel like it needs to get more use. But the issue with this wireless control here is that A is jump and B is shoot. It should be B is jump and Y is shoot, but that is not the case. And maybe I can change the controls around somehow. Or maybe not. Surely there must be a way of changing the controls. I don't want to disconnect it. Okay. A button is B button, and B button was the Y button. Did we fix it? Yeah, that was easy. Okay, awesome. Nick drinks too much cider. Maybe. I feel like I need cider after how bad today's gone at work. Oh, man. I'm glad I have something like this to take my mind off work. I don't know how people cope going through life if they don't have any sort of creative outlet, honestly. You need something to take your mind off how out of your control some things are in life. But, oh well. It's not all bad. How are you doing tonight? It is very hot. And my room is... You can see my window right there. It faces the sun all day, so I've been si sitting here trying to work all day and the sun is just beaming through. Obviously these blinds don't really stop the heat coming in. So it gets extremely hot in this room. I wish I could just like turn the house around and face it in a different direction. So anyway, anyone watching, have you ever played this Batman game for the NES before? Uh, not NES, the Game Boy. Of course, if it's played the NES Batman, that's one of the best games by Sunsoft. I'm planning to make a follow-up to my Game Boy video to uh, kind of go through some of these games that I missed out of my list, but the people in the comments were telling me to play, so hopefully we enjoy checking out some really good games tonight. And then I can make a cool video to cover some more interesting games as well. Before I do my own hidden gems list in the future. We've been on holiday for a month in Portugal, very nice. I'm doing alright. My YouTube's not doing too well, unfortunately. I've had two videos back to back that have been 10 out of 10s. And both of them actually lost me subscribers, so I uh, might need to reevaluate my content going forward. Because that is not a good feeling. All the time and effort that I put in just to lose one person each time and gain nothing from it. Kind of disheartening. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And the last few streams as well, no one really showed up, so I'm trying to maybe change things up a bit on the stream as well, although it is kind of disheartening. I've got like 500 followers now and no one shows up. Well, you're here, so I appreciate that. But it's really difficult to get yourself out there online. I don't know how else you're meant to do it, really. Unless you're already famous. It's like an impossible challenge that you have to try and figure out how to overcome. And the really annoying thing on YouTube is the only videos that do well are 
kind of boring videos, like top games list. I don't just want to make things like that. I want to make interesting things, but no one cares. I'm sure that's how every artist feels as well. How do you make people care about what you care about? Don't know. Make it seem important. Make it seem interesting. I mean, it is important and interesting to me, so it should count for something. I feel like there's only so much more... There's only so much more I can do in terms of production values and stuff before it just becomes impossible for me to make the videos if I spend so long thinking about the production of them. If you, yeah, you should send me some stuff over if you've got any hints or tips or ways to grow an audience without selling out, I guess. I do really struggle with things like that quite often. And whenever I have my plans, they never seem to really work out, because uh, the whole reason I started this Twitch channel was to play games to make videos on, and the two that I've done so far, the Diddy Kong Racing one and the uh, Sonic Adventure one, they've both been two of my worst performing videos of the year. So I really don't know what people want. Surely there's an audience out there for people who like retro games and want to see videos about them. There must be. I just don't know how to find it. But it seems like the only thing people want to know is what's the best games for a system and then they're just not interested in anything else. I don't know what else to do really. Anyone else watching got any advice or tips? What would you like to see from YouTube? Not just from me, but from people in general. What makes you excited about watching a specific video or creator? Because I would love to figure this stuff out. It's something that's constantly on my mind and I don't know what to do about it really. There is an audience, but where are they? Whenever I release anything that's not top games, I lose subscribers. The last two videos that I put out, both of them have lost me subscribers so far. Stick at it and I'll come. There's only so long I can do that though. I've been doing YouTube for 16 years now. And honestly, for the past six years, I've been putting my heart and soul into it. And some videos do well and I've kind of figured out what they are, but any time I want to do anything more interesting, it just dies instantly. And you can tell that it dies instantly as well because if you see the graph on YouTube, it's, it shoots up and then it just levels off. And if you see it level off that quick, you just know it's never going to come back. So the whole thing can be really disheartening at times. But maybe I'm just ranting because I've had a bad day, so... <laughs> I'll probably feel I'm completely different tomorrow. Maybe I should do some more UK focused stuff, but then I don't really know how big the audience is for that either. I'm not really focusing on this game very much. Anyway, maybe I just need to stop complaining and think about exper doing some different experiments maybe to see what sticks again. I don't know. I don't think it's the quality of my videos and that's what annoys me. I think it is the wrong topics more than anything. Thank you. And I appreciate you guys that are here. And streaming's not really something that I'm worried that much about, so I don't really care if I can get just you guys. You're my true fans. So I definitely appreciate you guys. Oh yeah, something, something new which might help. I had some new business cards printed the other day. We've got a stack of them here. If I ever see either of you in person, I'll give you one. There you go. Like that, and then on the back. Celebrating video game history, and it's got a QR code to my website where you can find everything. <clears throat> I've been thinking maybe that's what I need to focus on, is more the history side of gaming rather than individual games themselves. So, 
maybe I'll look into doing more of those in-depth history videos, but they do take a long time to make. No, I did know your editor, even though you changed your name again. I don't think I gave you a business card last time we met. I was so hot and sweaty that day at the London Gaming Market. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I probably looked like a complete mess. I remember that you said you saw me because you heard my voice from a distance. Well, someone told me that it was at that market anyway. Hopefully I'll be at the next one. I didn't manage to go to the last one. Is there anything else to this game? It seems very simple. Is there no special abilities or anything? I can fire that boomerang. I got a bomb, how do I use a bomb? I forget, I'm using a controller with four buttons, but there's only two. Oh, we got some health. I almost fell off then. Ah! The physics on this are weird. Not Mario Land weird, but they're definitely weird. Hey, if you're wondering why I haven't got my lights on, that's to try and keep the room cool as well. I'm gonna sit here in mostly darkness with two fans blaring at me from either side. It's not helping that much. I'm not getting anywhere. What do people like about this game? I like the sprites. I like the big chunky sprites. Definitely gives me a Mario Land 1 feel. Very early Game Boy. Ooh, a bat symbol. Oh, good job you can turn around in the air. The proportions are hilarious. I guess he has to fit he has to fit inside the sprite box. It is quite funny though. Uh trying to read the chat. And this is where I died last time. There we go, we're free. Uh, changed my name due to an issue with someone bothering me. You spotted me coming in through the entrance. Oh, cool. Uh, this is just Batman. It's just called Batman. I think it was based on the Tim Burton movie. It came out in 1989. So I presume it's a tie-in. I don't know whether it has any relation to what goes on in the movie or not. It doesn't really seem like it. Uh, but in my um, in my Game Boy Top Games video, everyone was going, "Where's Batman? You, you should have included Batman. The list's terrible without Batman." So I thought I would give it a, give it a try, and it seems quite fun. Batman versus Jack. Oh no! Here we go. Ah. Jack's out to kill me. Oh, you can just duck underneath him. Can we get me, Jack? Ah, go away, go away! Yeah! Yeah, jumping on 8 picks on blocks with wonky physics. That's always fun. Oh my god, how many hits has he taken? He wouldn't let me fire for a second. Oh no, and some of his bullets move too. 
Yay, there we go, Jack's dead. Hey, Batman, you know nobody can. Nobody can, whatever he's doing with his hands, destroy me. I bet they thought that animation was really cool. Gotham City. It looks exactly the same as the first level. What do we have now? A laser gun? It did nothing. It fires slightly faster. Batman's killing everyone. Ah! And now the city is killing me. Yeah. Oh, it just doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Oh, wait, it does matter! Oh, no. You like the music? It kind of sounds similar to the NES music. Or NES music, should I say. I got told off in my NES video for pronouncing it like that. How do you guys pronounce Nintendo Entertainment System? Ah! You should do a... Uh, Ah, no! Oh, you should do a Batman Game Boy uh, music. What do you call it when you base a song on something else? A tribute. Do a tribute to Game Boy Batman. How's the uh, sound volume, by the way? Because I've got this set up for PlayStation 1, so... Hopefully you can hear the game and hear me okay. I think because the fans are on, it's not going to do the fancy sound dampening thing that it did before. Okay, you just gotta keep running here. Does that mean I can't get those anymore because I messed that bit up? Oh well, let's carry on. Ah. Okay, there's no bomb on this one. What is that though? What is that? I just picked up part of the wall. For Super Batman. That's probably the name of the SNES game. Oh, I know what that one is. That's the shield thing. I cannot jump high enough to get on there. Can we do it that way? Yes. Is there like a Mario secret hidden block somewhere? What am I supposed to do now? You know what? I am quite enjoying this. Despite me complaining that it was too simple earlier. Oh yeah, sorry, it's pronounced capitals. N-E-S! You have to shout it like that. Someone complained about me calling it Ness, so I just replied Ness, Ness, Nessie, 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 Ness, Ness. That'll teach them. Ah, why am I facing the wrong way? Knee S. I'll try. I'll try calling it that next time. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! How did I stay on there and not get hit? Lucky. The music is really nice. I've got a shield. How long can I keep it? I'm scared of something landing on my head for no reason. What does the B do? I thought it was going to give me a bomb or something, but it seems to do the same as the S. What does BS stand for? Anyone? Batman and Superman, obviously. I don't know what you're thinking. And an R. B. B S R. And N. Bassern. What is all this? Bassern. I've got a super bullet now. Weird. 
Maybe S is speed? Does it make the bullets fly faster? I haven't got the manual for this one, so I don't know what's going on. Not that I ever know what's going on anyway. That's the shield, but I don't think I can reach it. I'm just going to wait for these guys to leave. Thank you. Oh, I had to actually blast the door open. I'm sure I didn't have to do that last time. We are making progress. Where are we now? No, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. It's too hot to try and pronounce things. We're inside a museum. With doors on the wall that you can't reach. They really did the bare minimum with these backgrounds to differentiate the environments. It's kind of funny. Another bee. I need it. Poor security guard who's just stuck in a box doing this all day. And them too. What a life. Whoa, that's cool. Don't know what that is. Missing though? Three and one. This kind of reminds me of something that you'd be able to make in ZGB. There's a lot of homebrew games that have this sort of feel to them. Or ZGB for any Americans watching. I do have a list of other games to play tonight, so it won't just be Batman. Gargoyle's Quest is another one that a lot of people have been uh, recommending to me. So I'll see whether I can fish that one out. I have a big box of games in front of me. Oh, I lost my special gun. That's not fun. Where did it go? Is that the end of the level? That level seemed really easy compared to the last ones. Okay, we're in the museum again. Is this following the plot of 1989 Batman? Whoa, that's cheating. That's a weird enemy design. Looks like a Kirby character reject. I don't know what these things are that I'm picking up. Most of them don't seem to do anything. And um, who are these Harry Potter people walking around? Don't you think they look like they're holding wands instead of guns? Have I found a shortcut? Was I supposed to just go through that route? Mega Man gameplay time. Just a lot easier. I've been thinking about playing the Mega Man Game Boy games again at some point, because I did really enjoy them. I had a lot of people asking why I didn't include Mega Man 5, and that is because I don't own it, because it's insanely expensive. Oh wow, we get a flying stage. Whoa, you can fire very fast. Okay, I didn't expect this, that's cool. Batman meets Gradius. Uh, they're not doing much though. My first shoot em up. It's nice how fast the plane is though. I think that plane just tried to poo on me. it better just to try and avoid all that. Two at once. Oh my god, how will I ever cope? Does gravity not exist? How are some of these bombs flying up? Okay, now it's getting a bit more challenging. It's very cool how uh, smooth the scrolling is on this. I was expecting it to be a lot more juttery. 
And it's all in 60 frames a second as well, which is nice. Although, yeah, it seems extremely easy. Kind of like the rest of the game. I don't know whether there's any lives or checkpoints or anything. <clears throat> I'm complaining about it being easy. It's going to take a really sharp turn in difficulty, isn't it? Oh, I just found out you can just hold the button down as well. You don't need to tap it. Okay, what is this? It's nothing. It's just a weird box. Is it going to open up? Kind of. Did they reach the end of the sprite limit? We can open it up by one pixel. And the bullets don't really come from anywhere. They just pop out of it. Blip, 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 blip. Mushroom man. He can buy it for me. Batwing stage. Okay, we get another shooting stage. Maybe this is where the difficulty is going to pick up. I've never got this far in the game before. I've only actually played the first two levels in the past. What are these? Weird sleeping ducks or something? Can I not kill them? Apparently not. Apparently planes can just float stationary in the air until they see you. And there's also airships and hundreds of missiles coming from every direction. Boss number two. This one actually looks like something. It does feel weirdly easy though. I'm not sure what's making it feel so easy. Is it because I can move so fast? Maybe? Is it because the bullets are so big they're so easy to dodge? Like everything is the same size. Which is weird. We've got another boss. I think he heard me complaining that it's too easy. First bit of sprite flicker there. Too many bullets on the screen at once. Where? Ah. Okay, watch out for that middle one. Oh, I can stay on this side. That's safer. And then I can keep getting hits in on the boss too. Why can't the rest of the stage be like that? That was actually fun for a second. It even sounds like Mega Man. Didn't did little in. Oh, have you guys been up in that boat? It's been fun. Oh yeah, I'm going to Insomnia next weekend, so maybe I'd better wait until it says ad break ends, just in case someone isn't here. We are in Gotham Cathedral. Let's carry on, and when it says ad break's finished, I can tell you my streaming plans for the weekend. Hopefully some of you can be around on the weekend. Okay, I'll tell you all about it in 16 seconds. The suspense. There we go, the ad break has ended, everyone's returned, sorry about that. As I was saying before I was rudely cut off by my own stream, um, I'll be at Insomnia this weekend, and they've actually asked me if I would like to stream while I'm there, so at some point in the day I'm going to try and sign up to stream on one of the computers at the show, and I think the game is Lego Drive, which is a game that I'd actually been meaning to check out anyway, so... 
That's really cool if I can have the first gameplay session of it on stream at the show. So if anyone's around on Saturday, I guess, Saturday afternoon maybe, then that could be really fun. And depending on whether the signal is any good inside the hall or not, maybe I'll try and do a bit of a stream of the actual event itself as well so you can have a look around and, you know, come for a walk with me around the convention, which might be fun. It'll be something new for me to try out anyway. I did get a press pass, so I'll be working on a video for the main channel. But maybe I'll try and do some streaming stuff as well. Could be fun. And maybe that's something I can do at other shows and gaming markets and stuff in the future. So you guys can have like a, a virtual look around the event while I'm there. Let me know whether you think that sounds like a fun idea. We finished another level without thinking. I'm whizzing through this. Now we have an auto scrolling stage. This is where the one goes to die. Ah, I hit my head on the ceiling. That's not fair. I don't think there's any lives though, so I don't really need to worry. <coughs> When we're done with this game, I'll give you guys the list of what else I was planning to play for this upcoming video and we can uh, decide something else to play a bit later. Although I might stop a bit early because I wanted to do an unboxing for a pickups video this week. A load of stuff just came over from Japan that I'm very excited about. So I want to try and record that tonight. Else the box will just be sitting on the table, doing nothing. I need to really find a way of integrating these streams and stuff more into what I want to do on the main channel. Because I feel like every Tuesday I have to stop what I was planning for the main channel to do these streams. And then try and pick it up again on Wednesday. Ah! And then if I haven't got enough filmed on Wednesday, I have to do it on Thursday and then edit on Thursday so I can upload it on Friday. But maybe that's another reason why my YouTube channel's not doing as well as I would like. Maybe I'm putting too much focus on trying to get a video out every week rather than the actual quality of the video itself. So Things might change, but I'm going to give it until the end of the year at least see whether I can figure anything out. Because, uh, there's some saying like only someone crazy does the same thing repeatedly and expects different results. Something like that anyway. So maybe I need to try a different approach, perhaps. And then find out how I can work the podcasts and the Twitch streams into something coherent. More, a bit more coherent at least, anyway. But as I said, if anyone's got any ideas, please let me know. I'm grasping at straws. Maybe I just need to change topics completely. Maybe no one's interested in retro games anymore. Maybe I need to branch out and do some more modern stuff too. Sweaty, my hands are sticking to the table. It's so hot in here, I've got two fans on me. And it's not helping at all. Maybe I'm going to do a short stream tonight, maybe we can just try and finish Batman. And, ah! I'm not paying attention. Yeah, 
Yes, that's better. Do some ducking under those enemies. That's it. I just need to focus. I need to stop complaining about things. Oh no! It heard me say the word complain. Oh no, continue. Where is it going to start from? From the first level. At least it didn't start from the beginning of the game again. Else I might have given up at that point. Quite lenient for a game from the 80s to actually restart you at that level you left off. <coughs> a lot of games would just send you right back to the title screen. Maybe it'd help if I actually knew what all the power-ups did. No, I don't remember this bit. Are we on the same level? Or is this something new? Ah, uh, my nose is all blocked up. There goes the shield. That was close, so I almost fell off that platform. <coughs> Yay, we did it! Level 1 complete. I think I did do that one before, but I just blanked it all out of my head. Now we're on the auto scroll on it. We've got a new gun. It doesn't seem to be any different to the old gun. Maybe it's actually got shorter range, look at that. A little pellet gun. I can't even reach him, no! Oh, this is where I died last time. Okay, uh, We're making progress. A heart, I will take it. I don't know what it does. I don't even know where to find my health. How am I supposed to get over there? attention to how much health I've got. We've got three lives left as well. Oh my god, I'm boiling alive in here. I don't know how much longer I can do this stream. Might need to get the aircon out of the garage tomorrow if this heat wave keeps up. So how's everyone else doing anyway? Has anyone been playing any interesting games recently? Anyone had any cool retro pickups? Ah, anything of note? Found any cool games that you didn't know existed before? Found out anything interesting? I've been buying some more Wonderswan games for a follow-up to my Wonderswan history video, which is exciting. I'll get started on that after Insomnia. It's 
some games I'm very excited to check out. And something else really cool, which is for a different video, which is one of Gunpei Yokoi's first ever game... No, last ever game consoles, actually. One of the last things he released before he died. Which is a really cool thing to own, so I've actually got both of those now. There were two little LCD games that he released through his own company. Which is so cool. Hey, Tom Sutton's here. Hey, Tom, how are you doing tonight? Is it as hot where you are as it is here? <sighs> I feel like I'm just breathing in, sitting in an oven. Sitting in a sauna. So yeah, anyone played anything re interesting recently? Or picked any new retro games up that are interesting? Anyone been, in been to any retro gaming shops or any independent shops recently? That would be interesting to know. Hopefully all the shops are still doing okay. Because uh, obviously money's a bit tight for most people at the minute, which is unfortunate. Myself included, I haven't even been buying as much as usual. I'm going to be a boring adult now, but I need to remortgage soon, and that's going to take even more of my game collecting money away. Hooray! Hooray for being an adult. Sub to me on Twitch, so I can get some more money. I'm only joking, please don't do that. I don't want to take anyone's money off them. I don't mind taking money off AdSense, because no one's really spending money on that. We did it! We got past the level. Batman versus the Joker. He looks the same as Jack from the uh, from the last boss fight. Are you sure this is the Joker? Oh, what a Joker! He fires three bullets. He is no match for my giant bullets. God, he's a sponge. Ah, that's not fair. I jumped into that one. <sighs> Continue. Where are we going to start from? Back to the start of the castle again. I'm losing people. I'm going to change games. I know no one's uh, interested in seeing this anymore. Let's see. Let's see what other games we've got on my list. I made a big list of all the games that people told me I should... Um, I should check out. Let's see what we can find in here. For those of you that can't see, I have a few boxes full of Game Boy games here, so let's see if we can find something more interesting to check out. Mole Mania was one. Should we check out Mole Mania? There we go. Next up. Miyamoto's Hidden Gem. Oh no. Does it need a blow first? There we go. Oh yeah, if you were asking, there's the Batman game. If you're still here, fight magic items. That's the game I was playing before. And then we're going to check out Mole Mania. In quest mode.
Yeah, yeah, that's fun. A Game Boy badge. Where did you get that from? Oh, you made it! Awesome! Your wife and kids are mine! That's what I said to you after I found out you made the Game Boy badge. How dare you make your own badge? Your wife and kids are mine! Here we go, let's check out Jinbi Land. Level 1. Uh, no, you can keep them. Hey, Furball, my seven lackeys have your family. Come and get them, if you can. I'll be waiting. Have you got seven lackeys in the way before I can get to your wife and kids? Hop, hop, here you are. I'm a kangaroo. I'm the first boss. Be ready. Hop, hop. I will be ready. Press A to burrow, to burrow underground. Muddy moves well underground. If you get this, you'll recover a quarter of your heart. If you get hit, your life meter will shrink. I can see this game getting very complicated later on. There's probably lots of really interesting mazes for you to try and find your way around. Does that say anything? My aching head! When pressing A, if I pause like this, the ground is too tough to burrow. Oh no! I just realised the music gets louder when you go above ground. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I need to find... I need to go by two. To find the next bit to get it there. Cover. What do we learn this time? Push or pull the black ball. If you drop it in the hole, see what happens. What happens? It just disappears. And you can also pull it by pressing B. Oh no, what do I do with this one? Oh, can I just go underneath it? Ow! No. Is it just me or is that the same sound as the... Uh... Oh no. Is that... Reset. Let's try again. I think I blocked myself out. So, move it to about there and then go across. Yay! Easy. Right, what is difficult about this one? Should I read the sign? I guess it's something about trapping the enemies. Use the ball to block the enemies or stop them from moving. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Can I go... Oh nice, you can press B to look above ground. So, if I very quickly go in here and dig, and then come up this side. Oh no! Oh, it kind of worked. I got through anyway. Has anyone ever played Mole Mania before? Do you enjoy this underrated Miyamoto classic? As some people call it.
Not sure what the point of moving these is. If uh, you don't need to go that far with them. Why did I fall over? Not really sure what the point of the design was for that level. What's this sign going to tell me? Hit the door with a black ball to open it. Okay. Easy. Boom. Door obliterated. What's this one one side? Get going, boy. Have you read all the signs yet? Well, don't just stand there. Get going. I have read all the signs. Are you proud of me? There's some more up here. Save in. When you quit, you won't continue from the exit you played last. Try to have a full life meter when you save, or you may be in trouble later on. If you make a mistake, go back to the previous level and try again. And the final one. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. I'm supposed to do that just to break open that gate. There we go. Is that the end of this world? Or do we get a boss fight? We get a heart from a guy in a trolley. Are my signs helping you at all? I'll recover hearts for you, so just relax. Thank you. Don't get too greedy with the hearts. We're out right now. Come back later. I profusely apologise. Stealing the heart. I can't get anywhere. Confused. What am I supposed to do here? Can't pull on the flowers. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Anyone watching? What am I meant to do here? I'm completely stuck. I'm going mad just hitting him over and over again. eventually go down instead. Is he meant to even be here? Maybe give me some more advice. I've already got full health. Weird, I haven't got any items or anything. Oh! What's that? Oh! Okay. Could have explained that to me. I don't think there's anything that tells you you can do that. 
What the hell? If you drop five cabbages in holes, you'll get one extra heart. There's 20 cabbages at each level. That's a cabbage? Okay. Apparently that is a cabbage. And it should go in a hole. What did I just pick up? It's a map! Go to the menu to use the map. You can only use it in that level. Find one for each level. What a useless map! What is that even gonna help? The award for the most useless map of all time goes to... Mole Mania! Oh. I think I'm screwed. The ball's stuck on the wrong side. If you drop five cabbages, you'll get hurt. Okay. Well, we'll do the last one anyway. Just because it told us to. And... Hooray! Now I just reset the level because I did it wrong. Okay, let's try again. We know what we're doing this time. So... Charge up and punch the boulder! And then go underground and come out here. So you have room to do this. And then you can break that door down. And the enemy just died by itself. And then we can go and get the map again. And there is no need to get the other cabbages. I'm quite enjoying this game. It's another game that I have meant to play for a long time, but I never really got round to it. Anyone in chat? Has anyone played Mole Mania before? For more than just a few minutes, anyway. Because I have played it, briefly. What's this sign going to tell me? If you step in the hole, you can throw things to the side. By holding it down. It's so weird that they didn't explain that holding down concept. Okay, you can do that as well if you're stuck on one side. You can throw it behind you. Ah, oh, that's how we do it. Clever! How dare you knock my ball out of position. Slam it down on his head. Oh no. Stop! I think I've screwed it up. Let's restart that stage. And then go around this way. Or maybe try and go into the middle because it looked like there were some items and stuff in there. What have we got? Recovery. Use recovery and your life meter will be refilled. So, do I have to come back up there so I don't make a second hole? 
Yeah. We did it. Not sure what to do about this. There isn't anywhere to put it. I can go through here though. What's that? That mark is an entrance to a bonus stage. There's one for each level. Can I use the cabbage to destroy the wall? I'm confused. Is there something else I don't understand? This game seems to be weird. It's got a good job of explaining some things to you, but then things that actually matter, it doesn't explain it at all. Oh, okay. But we can now. Ah, bring these down here. I'm trying not to die. How did that avoid all of them? Damn it. I want to at least finish one area and we can move on to the next game. Still no idea how to finish this one. I don't think you can bring that with you. Should we try? Right. Oh, he is far enough. Okay. That's two down. Let's take this guy out. I feel like I have more control over what I'm actually supposed to be supposed to be doing now. Cool sound effects too. Two doors. Does that mean it takes two? Yep. It's fun. It's kind of like Bomberman as well, the way the enemies pace back and forth and you can blow them up. You're late, so I got tired waiting, so I left my kangaroo for you to play with. <clears throat> what is that? I'm scared. It is just a kangaroo. Ooh. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have picked both of them up at the same time. Whoops. Oh, am I supposed to be trying to get him to stand on the candles? Like that. Huh. That's fun. Why does that look like Knuckles? It looks like a weird broken Knuckles sprite. Ah! Okay. I don't know why there's two candles. I haven't had a reason to use with one. Maybe I should be more systematic about it and have one at the top and one at the bottom. Let's 
Skin over there. Is that it? Three hits? Yay, we did it. First boss complete. That was quite fun, actually. Hey, this game's called Mole Mania. Oh, and we got a giant cabbage for our trouble. I love the really cute sprites and the amount of effort that they've put into the presentation of this game. Everything looks and sounds so nice. And it's a really interesting concept too. I don't know what map equals 18 means. 18 rooms? That's it. Jinbi land complete and we're moving on. Oh, no, we're still in Jinbi land. We're just on level 2. Level 2! I'm Sundays. My light won't blind you, I'll be waiting. Ho ho ho! Let's go and find Sundays. What does this sign have to say? To get 100 points, if you want 100 points, go to level 1, read the signs and follow the directions. I've already done everything in level 1. I'd never want to go back there again. Ah! Go away! Okay, sorry. Oh no! I need to get the ball over here as well. I've messed up. Oh, I've messed up already! Ah! I need to pull it forward. Two squares. One more. And then go underground. And poke my head out, if I'm allowed. To see when it's safe. Maybe when we come back there. Ah! And then when he's... Here, run for it, pick it up, and throw it. Yay, that worked. And, as I keep forgetting to do, you can pick these pieces of cabbage up and throw them in the holes. And eventually you'll get an extra life if you do that five times. Apparently. I didn't mean to do that. The icon next to level select has escaped. I'll go back to level quite last. I know. Why won't it let me come up there? Oh, if I come up here, I can get some heart. Yay. Ah, uh, how did I miss? Never mind. No! Ah, oh, ruined it! Oh, uh, no. I'm going to restart the level because I pressed the wrong button. That's annoying. Well, maybe we will leave it there. I think you won't get the idea of Mole Mania. Let's see what the next game on the list is. Gargoyle's Quest. Let's see whether I can find that one. I have boxes and boxes of Game Boy games here in front of me. But they're not organised at all. Let's see if any of the games... Let's see if any of the games that were recommended to me are in here. In this one. I was recommended uh, Final Fantasy Legend 2. I don't actually have the second one. I've got the first one, though. Um, has anyone played any of the Final Fantasy Legends games before? Okay, it's not in there. It is in one of these boxes. 
bear with me for a second. And we might be able to play some Gargoyle's Quest. If I can find it. Because I've been meaning to play that one for a while. Everyone tells me it's one of the best games on the system. Oh, I do have Kid Dracula here. That was another one that was recommended to me. Maybe we can check that out. Maybe let's check that out instead, because I can't find Gargoyle's Quest anywhere. It must be in one of the other boxes. Or... I do also have this folder here on the floor, which is also full of Game Boy games. So we can have a quick flick through here, see whether it's in here. Revenge of the Gator, that was another one. Pinball. No, can't find it. Oh well. Let's check out let's check out Kid Dracula instead. For now. <laughs> Apparently this one's getting quite expensive. Trying to tidy up as I'm going this time. So my desk isn't a complete mess for tomorrow. I do work here as well and it might be a little distracting. Having hundreds of Game Boy games there. Alright, let's try Kid Dracula. Here we go. I've heard very good things about this one. M -m 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 master that Garmoth. Where's Garamoth? I thought I got rid of him. Oh well, never mind. It's time I'll trash him for good. But Master, this time he's much stronger than he ever was. You'd better watch out and prepare well for battle. You've memorized all the magic spells, right? Yeah, the magic spells, right. The only one I remember is bat. Turn into a bat and go anywhere. Isn't that cheating? Or isn't that Kirby? There's one or the other. You've forgotten all the other spells, Master? Well, I'm sure I'll remember them when the time comes. What a good for nothing! If you get them, you might want to join Garamoth. He he he. Okay, so I can charge up and shoot a bigger fireball. Or if I press select, then I can transform into a bat for three seconds. Nor or bat. I guess nor is normal. Classic Castlevania traps. Oh, some nice music. What's the point of charging up if your basic one hit fireball kills the enemies just as well? Nice jumping mechanics, not like Castlevania. You can actually change direction in the air, which is always appreciated. He's so happy! Look how happy he was at the end of that stage. I love that. Wow, you can even shoot up! What is this? And classic. Uh, clock tower level. Surprised to see it this early.
And the music also sounds way too happy. Oops. Okay, apparently pressing up and select. Triggers quick save. Does this level remind anyone else of that Lego Mario level in Mario Land 2? With the way the floor spins around like that. <laughs> Frankenstein looking a bit grumpy there. Whenever I come to a crossroads like that, I always go left. There's always something to the left, if you're ever playing platforming. Oh no, you can't shoot up while you're on the stairs. It does seem incredibly easy though, hopefully it gets a bit more challenging later on. I guess it is just like Castlevania for kids, so it can't be too challenging. That's it, level 2 complete. And we've got some more funky music. some trick rotation graphics. I don't need that health. I love his big grin at the end of the stage. It's so fun. Oh, well. I thought that was going to be a boss fight then. I think it's coming up. Oh, isn't this the boss that's really racist in Japan? They change the sprite. Yeah, I backed Good Boy Galaxy. I'm looking forward to it. The demo was really good. I'll cover it on the channel, yeah. I don't know whether I'll do it straight away. Maybe. I suppose I should, shouldn't I? Oh. Hey, that's not fair. I thought he was dead. See, he's growing up the more I'm fighting him. This is his adult version, remember the old man version. Ready for round three. It's a fun idea for a fight. I can't even hit him. Old men are invincible. Is he okay? Oh. I think he just got old, maybe he had a heart attack or something. Oh dear. Master, master. Huh? That was you who betrayed me? And went over to Grand Moth's side? Wasn't it Bat? He looks like a cute bat, like something out of the Dragon Warrior Monsters series. Forgive me. One cannot easily forgive a traitor bat. But I'm always honest to you, Master. It just happened. I have no time to play around. I'm busy. I'm a busy person. Are you about to go after blah blah blah? blah, blah. Can I just play? The Bat Attack Force has become... 
your ally, they will help you anytime you want. Hello kid Dracula, if you're in trouble these can help you. You'll need two coins to try for more coins. You'll need at least ten coins to try for another kid Dracula. What? Get additional coins by guessing the correct number. Two coins per play. Give it a try. Okay, what number are we going to go for? Let's try six. What? What's going on? Start. Yes, I got something! Is this like Pokemon? Am I just going to be stuck here now gambling the whole, the whole stream? I've got all my bases covered there. Okay, I'm going to waste all my coins doing this. I want lives! Let's see what the lives one does. You do not have enough coins. Okay, moving on to level two then. Can I? Is this level two? Inside the tree for some reason. Trying a new bat attack. I presume it was there to show me that I've got that. Why can I attack the train? How do I get him out? Oh, bat form. Oh! Oh, the tree ate me! I didn't expect that. Oh yeah, when I get Good Boy Galaxy, I'll probably do a stream for it as well, so if you are interested in watching me play it, then you can see me play all the way through. That'll be fun. supposed to be racing that beetle. Oh no! Really? I didn't know I could fall through there. Yeah, this is Kid Dracula. Kind of a weird game. I was expecting it to be a lot more similar to Castlevania, but it's kind of its own thing. Seems fun though, but very easy. I guess it's a kid's game. Ow! Mario Land. Mario, uh, Mario 2 taught me I could stand on them. Oh my god, and I complained it was easy. Now look what's going on. Game over, as soon as you ask that. Anyway, what we were going to try and find is a game called Gargoyles Quest. So I've got two more boxes of games to look through. Let's see if we can find it. It's so hot in here. I'm sweating. I might go downstairs in a bit and play some Pikmin because it's cooler. A lot cooler downstairs. But we'll have a look, see whether we can find Gargoyle's Quest. Yay! Just as I 
was flicking through. There it is. So let's hop over. We can make that the last game this stream. That'll be four pretty cool games that we played so far. We played Batman. We played Mole Mania. We played Dracula. Kid Dracula. <laughs> and now give that a little blow. And we can check out Gargoyle's Quest, which I've been told is one of the best games on the entire system. And everyone was very, very upset that I didn't include it in my top games list. So let's rectify that right now. Here we go. I'm very excited. I have very high hopes for this. I hope it lives up to all my lofty expectations. A long time ago, the Ghoul Realm barely escaped the great peril. A large army of destroyers came from a neighbouring universe. The creatures of the Ghoul Realm were no match for the powerful destroyers. Just when everyone had given up hope, a great fire swept over the realm, wiping out the destroyer's army. Several hundred years have passed, and the realm is threatened once again. Dot dot dot. Let's go, Gargoyle's Quest. Now, is this an RPG, or is this a platformer? An unknown army attacked. The king has been... Gwah! They are very strong. Firebrand, return to the realm immediately. Hurry before they close the dimension portal that leads here. Let's go, we don't want to be trapped behind any dimension portal. Ooh, nice stereo sound. Classic music. I've only very briefly played this game before, but I've been told that I need to play it, so this is making this is me making up for the error of my ways. Seems pretty fun so far. Kind of reminds me in a weird way of Actraiser 2. The way you float around and the slower paced challenging platforming. Oh, ouch. I didn't expect that to hurt me from that angle. Still learning the ropes. I was never super interested in this game because of how slow it looked. I'm a fan of faster paced platformers really, but I'll give it a chance. Uh, what is this? What does that do? Anyone watching? What did that potion just do? Did it do anything? We got another one. Not sure what it does. Why is that tree so angry? Okay, you can't shoot up in this one. I thought it increased the float time, but the float time seems to be that meter at the bottom. Ah! That's a trick. Why send me over there just to get hurt? Some slowdown going on there. There was another one of those potions there. Oh, maybe it refills your flying energy while you're in the air. You chanted the resurrection spell and you've been revived in the realm. Oh, okay, now we've got some RPG stuff. Talk. No one to speak to. Use. Nothing to use. Level. Jump one, wing one, life two. Tails one, vials six. Okay, now the last thing. Check. Can't find anything. Okay, interesting. So it's got some like old school RPG mechanics too. I'm determined to at least get to the second area. Should we 
find out what that does. No, it doesn't refill anything. It says I've got eight of them though. Files eight. I don't seem to have any use for them though. I can't select it. Someone must know. I was recommended this game multiple times. There's another one. I'm not going for that heart again, they tricked me once already. Oh my god, there was an actual fly on the screen then, and I thought it was an enemy. Do I try and get that vial again? Again, really wants me to collect as many of them as possible. Oh no! Wow, this is, this is tough. Especially coming from Kid Dracula, which was super easy. I mean, I kind of expected this to be the more challenging game, but not by this much. Let's try going up here instead. Is this a safer route? Ah! 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 There's another one. It kind of reminds me of Actraiser 2 and the difficulty as well. Okay, we'll wait for him to go. Oh! I thought that was just floor. Some nice precise platforming. And we got another one. Got so many of these now. Well, I don't know why. I've got to be careful not to jump too far now. What's that noise? We have a boss fight. Don't know what that wall is. It doesn't seem to be anything. Oh my god, that's scary. Ah! Go away! Oh god, that's horrible. How am I supposed to get anywhere? You guys didn't warn me that this game was going to be impossible. Really? Alright, one more try. One more try. And then I'm going to go downstairs and play Pikmin in the nice cool living room. It actually feels like I'm in hell right now, so this game is kind of apt to end on. I'll go and give Sarah the fan after this, because she's streaming as well, and it's probably even hotter for her in there. Oh yeah, anyone who's here that wasn't here earlier, I'll actually be streaming on the weekend at Insomnia gaming festival in Birmingham and I'm going to try and book a slot because they said you can actually try streaming on one of their computers, one of the new games. So maybe on Saturday at some point expect to see a stream here from Insomnia. That could be quite fun because I've got a press pass so I get access to use their PCs and things. And Although a lot of it's probably not relevant to retro gaming. It'll be fun to check it out and do something fun like that at an event live. And maybe if the signal is good enough I can take the camera around and do sort of a live tour of the show as well. And there is a retro gaming section from what I've seen so I'm quite excited. I want to see a speedrun of this game because it seems very challenging, but I bet there's like really simple tactics to get past things. 
I'm sure if anyone's played this game before, you're just laughing at me right now. Ah, maybe the better idea is to try and use this middle pillar. God, even that sounds terrifying. Where is it? I don't know how I was supposed to avoid it, though. Okay, don't turn left, don't turn left. Ah! No! The sprites are so big, there's no room to manoeuvre around them. Oh well, let's press on. Should we try going this way? I banged my head there last time, I think. Easy. Oh, it takes you back up anyway. I thought we'd end up going a different way. No! Oh! God damn it. Game over. Alright then. Game over. I'll try and play this in my own time at some point. So I'm going to end it there because I'm dying in this room. But anyway, hopefully that was a good... Roughly, what, hour and 40 minutes of some fun Game Boy games. We played four games here, and there's a lot more that I want to check out. So join me next Tuesday. Hopefully it's a lot bit cooler. Hopefully I can get the camera in a bit of a better position, because it's right up there at the minute. I just realised I've been very small the entire stream, so... There you go. Hello. I'm going to head off now. So enjoy the rest of your evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you all again very soon. Uh, how do I end it? There we go. Bye!